So today I'm gonna give you my secret recipe for the perfect pizza sauce. And I know that there's people out there that like to add dry herbs and a lot of different ingredients, but I would encourage you today to make this at least once the way that I'm gonna display it. And what I'm gonna be showing is a tomato that comes from Parma, Italy. This tomato is sweet and doesn't have any acidity at the end. The other thing I have is some really good olive oil, and that's the color that you're gonna see, this beautiful green color and this peppery, beautiful olive flavor. So these are my two secret ingredients on all the sauces that I make here at the Academy. So these are Italian tomatoes, and these tomatoes are whole. The one thing I'll advise you about as well is that when you get a good tomato, you know it's a good tomato because the tomato should be the same color as the puree that's inside the can. The other things that we're using inside over here, we're gonna be using sea salt. Now, I've also got the, uh, the olive oil, which we're gonna be using one teaspoon of olive oil. I'll tell you that you can easily do all the way up to one tablespoon. I've got fresh basil and I hand tear these leaves. And the reason I put them in water is because those leaves will stay nice and fresh inside of just some cold water. I'm using one nice basil leaf. What I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna take this basil leaf and I'm gonna smash it in my hands as tight as I can. What I'm doing here now is I'm bruising this leaf. And what's happening is that the cells of this basil leaf now are bursting. So the beautiful perfume, the essential oil of the basil is coming out and will be more intense inside of your sauce. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hand tear this. The next thing that we need is one clove of garlic. Now, when you open up a head of garlic, there's a big difference sometimes between what a clove looks like, okay? So depending on how much garlic flavor you like, select the one that fits you best. I'm gonna use this small one, but we're gonna finely chop this. But the way my grandma did this, very simply, I would just make all of these little slits into the garlic, and then turn it sideways and make some of these slits again. And then all I have to do is once I have the slits is just come again on the side and then all of a sudden this will make all these beautiful little bits and pieces of fresh garlic. When you go to burst or you smash these tomatoes by hand, keep the tomato below the level of the puree. So physically when you stick your hand in there, squeeze them underneath the sauce. Don't hold them up in the air and squeeze it because again, they will splatter everywhere. These muti tomatoes are full of that beautiful tomato juice. And now just with a little bit of work, you can see that now my sauce is complete, my chef coat is still nice and white, and everything is mixed in. And this is exactly what we're looking for. I like to do this maybe about uh, four, four hours or so, maybe before I'm ready to make my pizzas, but you can do this a full day ahead. And what'll happen is the aromatic of the garlic, the aromatic of the basil will just perfume those tomatoes and you're gonna have just this beautiful, clean pizza sauce.